is the FKF Premier League. We did have uh, some midweek action in the course of the week, but today and tomorrow a number of fixtures have been lined up for you. And we have KCB leading, you know, the particular FKF Premier League a log. They're followed closely by uh, Kakamega Homeboys there. But, you know, let's just look at some of the fixtures and kick off for this particular matches is set for 3 p.m. Today we have uh, Kariobangi Sharks there versus Kakamega Homeboys. Uh, Ulinzi Stars on the other hand are set to play against Sofa Parker while, uh, you know, newbies, not so newbies, Talanta there taking on uh, another new set of newcomers that is Nairobi City Stars while Bandari uh, host Kenya Police. This is just some of the matches that we have set up for you for today but as for Sunday we have Vihiga Bullets taking on Wazita, Wazito FC, FC Leopards otherwise known as Ingwe are going to play against Zoya Sugar, Poster Rangers take on the Brewers that is Tasca FC while uh, those who top the leaderboard that is KCB uh, will go head to head against Bidco United. Of course you know this and much much more to look forward to. We also have um, Urmahia there, but you know, just talking about some of what we have seen, a lot has been happening in the league as it goes on in various, various leagues. But let's just shelve matters aside that is football action. We get into some volleyball, and we have managed to begin the year on a very, very good note, having our star attraction, otherwise uh, known as Sharon Chumba. She has, uh, she is known for her consistency, not only in the Africa region, but also in the, in the international platform. She's a force uh, to reckon with. We have seen that from various competitions, you know, in the past. This has uh, earned her a number, a number of accolades we have widespread fame. She's also known to be the best attacker in the Africa region. She does play for KCB club and also for the Malkia strikers. You know, that's the national women's volleyball team. And, you know, Chumba, just um, to rope you in, maybe a bit, of, a bit of what happened last year. What was your biggest highlight in volleyball last year? Uh, my biggest highlight was in Olympics. Uh, I really thank God because we qualified and I went to the Olympics. And it was really challenging because uh, for the players I met there were at a high level and I really wanted to play with them so that I can get that exposure. And uh, I thank God because Nili managed and Nika, Nika learned so many from them because it wasn't an easy match. Like, for example, we played with Japan, Japanese. They are very short, but they, they really challenged, challenged us. So I cook what I see, but I thank God for that. And also, I thank God because it will qualify. Most of the players that, that will travel will be juniors. And I think will be part of exposure. Zuri and Pia will be encouraged. Ile like kuna jua sisi kama Africans tuna, tuna kuanga na uoga sana. So uki get commit wale players wa bigi, unapata ile morali na kuwa juu. So hoping this 2022 will be our year. Of course, Shuba, you've touched on very important key aspects. That is exposure, you know, coming with the Olympics and uh, having young players in the team. But you yourself were able to stand out, you know, even in the Olympics, which um, I would say, you know, it was not uh, the best according to majority, but, you know, you tried as a team. Uh, how do you think you played as an individual? As an individual, Nenza Sema Pia, uh, before you get about Mimi, the support also comes from the team. So, you support your team daily nifanya who I am today because they really supported me and I thank God because I really performed well. Uh, according to me, nili perform vizuri sivile nili kwa na expect. Na pia nili kwa na ona, ninge kwa na uwezo nige perform more better than that. So, I'm still working hard so that I can perform more better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know we've just focused on volleyball, but uh, you know away from volleyball, what did you look forward to last year? Personally, there was you know we had Formula One, and uh, I think you know how that outcome went. How 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 was it for you? What did you look forward to away from volleyball? Maybe 
Naweza sema bado kidogo ilikuwa about maybe uh, apart from volleyball kitu nyenye mtu anaweza fanya maybe you know as volleyballers most of the athletes most of the time uh, we dwell so much on games so like hiyo hiyo season ilikufunza like you can still play and you can still do something important apart from playing yeah and of course with the olympics uh, big 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 event there the number of teams it was very tough competition having been there with uh, with you guys the whole team what what can you say about how the competition has nurtured you know Malkia strikers has nurtured uh, Sharon Chepchumba for uh, upcoming tournaments this is, that was not the last we are having major major tournaments we have the FIVB world championships which you know as a team national team you're working towards that so I can say, according to the junior players, they were so encouraged, and um, I think when you pata ile 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 bd, like if you work more hard, you can be the best. You no, know? so ile kwenye the Olympics, to side there first of all, to gain confidence, like um, nobody is higher than you. Ni wewe kujueka pale hivo, and I think it's something that challenged us as Malikia strikers. Uh, as volleyballers cause um ku participate pale iko kwa just an easy thing cause uh, unapata we've been uh, tulikuwa tunatafuta sana hiyo hiyo title ya kwenda olympics it has been so long so vile tuli manage kufika huko it wasn't easy and we met so big so many big clubs you know so us playing with them ilitupatia ile courage ya kwamba si pia tunaweza kwa good team you know uh, kenya can kenya can produce good players professional players and tulikuja na tulikuja home na ile nguvu ya kutaka kuwa more hard so that we can also be recognized in the world and you know being uh, in the national team of course it all again starts with the club level that is kcb which is quite a star studded uh, team how has it been for you you know playing for kcb you did not uh, start here you've been in other clubs before so how was it uh, how has it been so far your journey in kcb uh, my journey in kcb i can say it's awesome because uh I got a very supportive team and also the management and they really care about the players and I really thank God for that. You know, it's not easy to just go into a team and you just get um, a good platform, like you just be comfortable. So I really thank them because they have given the players a good platform at least to enable themselves to grow both in, both their talent and also life-wise. So, and my journey has not been easy. Of course, there's always challenges from, um, there are so many challenges in sport. Uh, sana sana kama you are exiting from one club to the other one. You get like, you know, umezea wale players, so you have to come and deal with these players. So it wasn't easy, but uh, with the nini, uh, ile ile support ni mepata na pia interaction ya uh, junior to senior, senior to junior, pia menis idea. So if I, I go to any club, I just gel with them. So we work together. And talking about KCB, we have the uh, league, the volleyball league, previous one. Of course, we're looking forward to the new, uh, to the oncoming season. How was it in the past uh, season? You see, KCB, as I said, is a star studded uh, team, but still we have very, very stiff competition when it comes to the likes of Kenya Pipeline, Kenya Prisons. How was the league for you, um, the league that had just ended? Uh, about the last year league uh, it wasn't easy because uh, now in Kenya the volleyball league in Kenya it's very tough now you know we up on the month it was you uh, will ask about KCB pipeline prison but for now there are so many clubs and uh, so many upcoming teams that is in Akuja with a lot of competition so by now in Takana Msetu Akuna Ajaya ku, ku, ku as in to underestimate any team. So I can say last year league was, was very tough. And allowed to look at now and to win, but you know, sometimes you have to lose. <laughs> yeah. And you've said stiff competition, you know, an unpredictable league. Which club has stood out for you? Other than the big three, you know, KCB, Kenya Prisons, Kenya Pipeline, who do you think uh, people should watch out for, especially in the new season? 
now uh, there's this uh, DCI team it it has uh, young players and wana jiamini sana so you never know and also we have the KDF we have um uh we have prison the prison Nairobi there's prison Kenya and prison Nairobi so there are so many teams which are coming vibaya sana yeah and being in one of the big volleyball clubs what would be your advice to the teams that have just joined the big league? How, how can they make sure that they're able to maintain a consistent uh, stream of growth? Uh, to that I can just say it's all, it, it, it all starts with the player. As long as you're committed to your club, I'm very sure like, it will take like some years for, for you to win, but at the end of the day, you have to be committed to your club so that you can make sure, like any player, any, any new player who is joining the club, she be comfortable, she gels with you guys, and they will work together, and I'm very sure coming one year or two years, they will be somewhere. Of course, Chumba, if you were given another choice of a sport today that is not volleyball, what would you go for? I'll just go back to football. What is so good about football for you? I used to play football, so I think it's the sport that at least I know about it. So, and I really love football. Uh, so, me going back to football, it will be the best choice for me. Thank you so much, and we wish you all the best, you know, in the new season that is at club level, and even for the international events that we have lined up for volleyball. That right there is Sharon Chumba. She has been your star attraction today, and she continues to shine in the volleyball field. Of course, so much to look forward to from Chumba there, who is also tasked with nurturing those who are going to come after her. We appreciate uh, you your time with us in studio thank you so much but now we take a short commercial break do not leave your seats because when we come back a lot lot more lined up for you in the world